Hello guys, my name is Doak and I think that I have a serious puppy obsession. We are currently heading home, we had to leave the puppies, we will come back in one month and we will choose our future doggy. In the previous episode I asked you um, if we should take a male dog or female dog and you know what, gonna be a girl! And if we want to talk about dogs, I have to mention this one. Yeah, Gira. This is Gira, she's almost 13 years old and she's my actual dog but just as I said she's so old and I want her to meet our future dog so she can get her some guide look at that there I think that it's time to clean the car looking fresh um, okay so today's episode of the our life will be focused mainly on markers this is probably the most common question that I get all the time what markers do I use and well yeah today today we're gonna find out we'll go through all the markers that I use we'll also test some new markers and we will come up with something like what's the best choice as i'm looking at my table i already see lots of markers lots of kinds of markers from different brands but you can get all of them in bombingscience.com eShop. so i will link everything what i'm using today in the description below it's important to say that I got three kinds of markers over here alcohol based acrylic based and water based these are uh, different kinds of markers and it means that you should also use a different kind of a paper for this purpose we got two sketchbooks over here bombing science black book and Molotov one for all acrylic black book the difference between these two black books is in the kind of a paper the thing that I'm gonna do right now is that I'm gonna Make a sketch with each kind of a marker. So there's gonna be an alcohol-based sketch, acrylic-based sketch, and water-based sketch. Also, I'm gonna compare different brands. So I'm gonna start with alcohol-based markers, and the brand is Style File.
funny that I've been using these acrylic markers for years. For years. And I tried the blending of the markers for the first time ever two days ago. <laughs> Better later than never. Uh, okay, right now it's time for, for an outline. Um, these alcohol markers are not the best for the outline. There are some different kind of markers. Oh. I'm talking about fine liners. Um, most of the time the outline has a has a black color. And for this purpose, I got these Molotov permanent black liners and these Iron Lag permanent fine liners. To compare these two, I will make the R and U with the Molotov fine liners and S and H, is that correct? H? With Iron Lag markers, fine liners. Let's do it. Right now I'm gonna show you the first finished sketch with alcohol markers. We want to talk about the difference between Molotov fine liners and iron like fine liners. They are pretty much the same. Right now I will be working with these brand new Aqua Twin Molotov markers. These are water-based markers and to be honest, I have never ever used them. Before the recording of this video, I tried to use them for blending. It doesn't work, but I got a feeling that these colors are so bright. So yeah, let's make a sketch and we'll see. I wanted to make a conclusion of each marker in the end, but these water-based markers, I was so excited about them. To be honest, I was, but I don't know. I just, maybe I don't know how to use them, but I think that they're not so... Okay, right now it's time for the most packed category. Actually, I'm pretty sure that if you watch my videos, you know these acrylic Molotov marker. The main point of using markers like this is that you can actually go over, for example, over a black with a light color. This is what I'm talking about. This is alcohol-based color. This is acrylic-based color. It's a super big advantage. It's kind of a similar experience to painting on a wall with spray paint. Also, these markers are usable on multiple surfaces. I painted my sneakers with them, computer, whatever you want. Almost. I know them very well. They are great. So today I'm not gonna make a sketch with them. But we got the similar type of markers over here, but from a different brand. Grok or Grok. And also similar kind of uh, markers from Iron Lack. Right now I'm gonna be sketching it one for all. Black book. And look, this is a sketch made with Molotov markers. I'm gonna start with the iron lock acrylic markers. I'm gonna make something like a little paper bombing and then we will move on to the grot.
okay, these were the iron lag markers. Right now it's time for the grog markers. And then, in the end, we're gonna make a big conclusion. What's the best? Okay. Let's, let's, let's catch a guy. <laughs> Okay, right now I'm gonna show you the Grok sketch and then I'm gonna tell you which markers are the best. Are the Grok acrylic markers better than Molotov acrylic markers? No. But are they good? Would I buy them? Mm, yeah, I would say that they are quite similar to the Molotov markers and I don't see any super big difference between these two. And also the I don't like acrylic markers are quite similar. And right now, what markers are the best for you? If I should take just one kind of a markers from all of these, I would take the alcohol based markers. Why? I would choose them because they are pretty good on a paper. And most of the time when I sketch, I sketch on a paper. You can blend them and for sure there are so many kinds of alcohol based markers. And if you want to talk about style file, well, I would say that you get a solid markers for a good price. If I can choose two types of the markers, I would buy these and the fine liners. They're like a must have for every single other who draws on a paper. And the third markers that I would buy are these Molotov markers or Grog markers, depends on your taste. But if you mostly paint on canvases and different surfaces, definitely these markers would be the choice number one. To be honest, I don't even remember a day when I made that many sketches. I hope that this video will help you and will give you some idea which markers are the best for you. Remember that all the markers are linked below and thanks for watching. Whew, I'm really tired. See you next time.